Hey guys, it's Metacosis Perfectionalis continuing our rheumatology playlist. In the previous video, we talked about HLA-B27. They will talk about HLA, DR2, 3, and 4. They are MHC class 2, major histocompatibility complex class 2. With that being said, now let's get started. Quick review of the major O2 antibodies that we have discussed in previous videos. Rheumatoid arthritis, we have rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP. More sensitive, less sensitive, less specific, more specific. Correlates with disease activity, same thing. Now, systemic lupus. Anti-double stranded DNA, anti-Smith, anti-U1RNP, anti-ribosomal P protein. Specific, specific, non-specific, specific. Correlates with lupus, nephritis, and vasculitis. Correlates with liver disease as well as CNS problems. Now, Jogren, anti-SSA and anti-SSP are seen in SLE and Jogren. Both can be transferred from mommy to the baby, leading to neonatal lupus and congenital heart block. When you have Jogren syndrome and you have these O2 antibodies, you have a higher risk of a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Then we've talked about hypocomplementemia or decreased complement level. Decreased C2 and C4 are seen in classical complement overactivation, such as genetic allele deficiency, hereditary angioedema, and acquired angioedema. Decrease C3, increase complement activation in the classical or alternative pathway. Decrease C4, increase complement activation specifically in the classical pathway, such as lupus. In cases of systemic lupus, you can have decrease C3 and or decrease C4 in the plasma. Conditions that have hypocomplementemia are all of these. They are either autoimmune or infections. Early complement deficiency associated with lupus. Late complement deficiency associated with Neisseria infections. How to diagnose complement deficiency? We start by measuring CH50, which measures the classical pathway. If it's slow, it means the classical pathway is overactivated and depending on the condition. If you suspect autoimmune disease in this patient, order individual complement proteins, C1, C2, and C4. If you suspect Neisseria gonorrhea or Neisseria meningitis, go ahead and order the late protein components. Then we started talking about the human leukocytic antigens. They are the human version of the major histocompatibility complex, and we have explained class 1, 2, and 3. Class 1 includes ABC, class 2 includes the D. We have talked about B27 in the previous video. Today we'll talk about DR2, DR3, DR4. Human leukocytic antigens, class 1 and 2. Class 1, ABC. So A, A3 is associated with hemochromatosis and here is a mnemonic. HLAB, B27, as you know, seronegative spondyl arthropathies. Then we have HLAB8. We have Graves disease, Addison's disease, myasthenia. And the mnemonic is the cruel O2 antibodies 8, my thyroid, my adrenals, and my energy. HLAB47, congenital adrenal hyperplasia. And HLAB51, Bichette syndrome. I have the Perfect Schnellus Ultimate Notebook, also known as PUN, about lymphoma plus 20 lymphoma cases, and I have 50 hematology cases on patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Would love to see you there. The HLAB27, which was the topic of the previous video, protein found on the surface of leukocytes, class 1, present the antigens to the T lymphocyte and its cytotoxic T lymphocyte. In, in cases of spondyloarthropathies, we see the HLAB27. Why do we call them seronegative spondyloarthropathies? Because they are rheumatoid factor negative. What are these conditions? They are pair. Psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, inflammatory bowel disease associated arthritis, and reactive arthritis. Here are the seronegative spondyloarthropathies, rheumatoid factor negative, but they are HLAB27 positive. Again, the mnemonic is pair, and I don't care. Don't forget healthy Caucasians, 7% of them have HLAB27 and they are perfectly fine. Uveitis 50% of the time can have HLAB27. Now to today's topic, HLA, DR2 and DR3. So, DR2, DR3, SLE. I'm 23, I'm positive for HLA, DR2 and 3. Beautiful. Why 23? Because this is a female in her child-bearing age. That's the typical patient for lupus. If you want to be more sophisticated, HLA-DR2 is commoner in the Japanese population. HLA-DR3 is commoner in the white population. Now we're done with lupus. Let's talk about rheumatoid arthritis. We have HLA-DR4. Now first, let's go through the diseases, then the mnemonics. The diseases first. HLA-DR2, lupus, 
multiple sclerosis, autoimmune hepatitis, good pasture syndrome, also known as anti glomerular basement membrane antibody disease, narcolepsy. How about HLA DR3, Jogrin, polymyositis, autoimmune hepatitis, grave disease, adrenal insufficiency, HLA DR4, rheumatoid arthritis, autoimmune hepatitis, and type 1 diabetes, HLA DR5, juvenile arthritis, HIV, Sika syndrome, and Hashimoto's. By the way, Sika syndrome is similar to Jogrin, but not the same. There is a huge difference between them, and we will talk about that difference when we talk about Jogrin. HLA-DR8, juvenile arthritis. Some people call it JRA, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Some people call it like IRA, not to be confused with the individual retirement account. This is idiopathic rheumatoid arthritis. Now it's mnemonic time, baby. Hey, how are you? I'm 23. I am positive for HLA-DR2 and 3. Nice. Easy piece of cake. How about autoimmune hepatitis 2, 3, and 4? Okay, then let's talk about rheumatoid arthritis. I mean, look at these rheumatoid nodules and this ulnar deviation talking about deformity. She probably is rheumatoid factor positive as well as anti-CCP antibody positive. So, positive DR4, I just hanged a 4 by the fourth finger talking about creativity. Type 1 diabetes. Type 1 is a disease of the young, less than 30 years of age, so here's a little baby. With a pancreas, because we're talking diabetes here. 3 and 4. Liver, pancreas, 3 and 4. Don't forget, 4 was liver, so 3, 4, liver, pancreas. And here's another mnemonic for you. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 is 4, type 1. 2, 2 letters, which is diabetes mellitus. And then... 3 and 4 are the O2 antibodies seen in type 1 diabetes. Cool! Now let's talk about juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. As you know, rheumatoid arthritis in an adult, it's probably DR4. How about juvenile rheumatoid arthritis in a young person? It's going to be 5 and 8. But I thought if you are juvenile, you are young, so you'll get the smaller number. Honey, it doesn't work that that. Get your head out of your sphincter. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really need your support. Please go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis to help me produce more videos every single day. Thanks again. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and join the tribe. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis to get my perfect nails, ultimate notebook, or pun. Get my cases. Get all of the notes that I'm drawing for all of my videos are available on Patreon. You just download them, guys, and then you enjoy yourself. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Medicine and sense. Two words that don't go together, like airline service.